everybody, welcome to another episode of Movers and Shakers of Pa. Um, today I've got Sinti Bale Makara with me. Luckily I got hold of him. Uh, he's here for the weekend from Johannesburg. Why Sinti Bale is here? Sinti Bale um, is from Pa, of course. And Sinti Bale was just recently awarded with the uh, Mail and Guardian 200 Youngsters of South Africa. Um, uh, of course, that means they influences of a positive note. So I asked him to come chat to me. He's here for a quick pop in. Um, probably rolling out the red carpet for him in <laughs> at home. <laughs> so, Sintabali, thanks, man. Thanks for joining me tonight. Uh, thanks, thanks for being here. Um, so, what's bringing you to what's bringing you home to celebrate? No, no, no. More than anything, it's just to see the family as well. Okay. Um, obviously, you have to always take whatever small victory there is, you know, and yeah. share it with the people that have been yeah. there since day one. Cool, man. It's, it's always a sense. Um, okay, so tell me, let's start on this award quickly, because I'm more eager to understand um, how does this happen? What are you nominated? <laughs> Do they give you a phone call? Uh, okay. Because it's quite big. Mm -hmm. So basically, from what I understand, uh, Mail and Guardian um, usually puts out um, an invite mm -hmm. for people to make nominations of the each year. Okay. With regards to whom do they think um, fits the criteria with regards to different categories. Yeah. I'm part of the legal category. Yeah. Um, and in those nominations, they then will filter. And I understand from what they informed us at uh, Carla Dinner that um, about 8,000 applications were submitted wow. this year. And yeah, hopefully I wish I knew who, in, who nominated me because yeah. it was quite strange. I was coming back from an arbitration and... I just see this email telling me congratulations you've been nominated for, for, wow. for this um, a journalist will be contacting you and yeah after that um journalist does an interview and they do a write-up on you and lo and behold i found myself wow. being part of uh, the class of 2018 of the maiden garden wow. young south africans yeah that's like an elite award eh, for youngster <laughs> um yes. quickly so uh born and breed where, where were we born okay um, General Hospital Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the maternity ward. Yeah. Um, a bit of a bit distant in Burgersdorp, where okay. my parents are originally from. Um, born and raised in Bequeni Paul. Um, let me start pre-primary. I need to yeah. give shout outs to people. <laughs> pre-primary Vugukanye, uh, then Lollipop. Okay. That's where we started learning a bit of Afrikaans, and then um, yeah. And then I went to Mary Help of Christians actually. Right. Awesome. Primary. Yes, and um under the tutelage of some great Miss Yonker, I can think of Miss mm. Benjamin at the time, Miss Kierpers, mm. uh, Miss Dupria, mm -hmm. so many people that have um, that have been there with me in this mm. journey, and then got the honor and privilege at the time to then through my mother's ingenuity and always having this vision that yeah. she wants me to do better and be better. Yeah, I went into Paul Boys Eye. Okay, and finished my matric there. Then University of Western Cape for law. Okay. Um, funny story enough, I wanted to become a cop. Okay. Part of my brother and be part of protection services. Yeah. He felt I was too young, okay. and said, "Okay, no, let's go to university and let's just find out mm. what's available." Mm. Mm. And that time, I still believed that I'll just do one year and then still mm. apply for a cop. And um, I did a diploma in criminal law and justice within a year. And Mr. Fredericks at the time said, "You know what? It's because the LB." And the diploma course mm. first year was similar. So he then said, no, why didn't you change to the LLB? At the time, I was part of the Dean's Merit List. I was one of the top students in first year. So he, wow. he then, I refused reluctantly at the time. Yeah. Um, and then when I went to go register for my final year of the diploma, which is the second year, yeah. I register and I see it's LLB. And then I go inquire at, 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 at reception at, at the law faculty. They tell me, no, Mr. Fredericks told us you'll be coming. Yeah. Please go see him. And he was like, no, you're being lazy. Okay. You're going to do the LLB. Wow. I don't think you should be doing that. So thank you to Mr. Fredericks <laughs> for, for, for his persistence yeah. in that. And, yeah. and then initially I finished the law degree and then I wanted to teach. That's actually what I wanted to do. So I wanted okay. to lecture. So I started as a GLA and I was going to read all my masters and subsequently do my doctorate. Yeah. Which touch wood one day I'll, yeah. I'll probably enroll for. Yeah. Um, and then the dean felt... Um, about if after a few months of lecturing that you know what you're still too young I feel like there's much potential for you um, she told me about a scholarship and that's how I ended up in Missouri 
and I did a dip, uh, LLM oh, yeah. in um, dispute resolution at the Center for Dispute Resolution in the University of Missouri. And that's where I met a great man, Professor Abov, mm. you understand? Who was actually since then, maybe because of my marketing of Paul, I guess, he actually stays now in Paul. Which wow, is nice. So he's, okay. al he's always here. I'm actually meeting with him sometime. During my, during my so meeting. is this a uh, lecturer in Missouri in that's Missouri. living in Paul yes, now? Yes, one of the greatest litigators that I've ever wow. met. Wow, what's and he doing in South Africa? Is he... So he still assists with the program. Okay. Um, because there's also a South African leg of it where the University of Missouri has a program that they run oh, right. during this um, June holidays. Yeah. So he's he, he's the one that always coordinated that program and, wow. I st and he still does, from my understanding, do that comparative law yeah. course in University of Western Cape. And he then fell in love with Paul mm. and he moved to the golf course. Wow. And so him and his wife nice, enjoying man. their golden age. Yeah. And obviously, he's always been a connoisseur of South African wines. Yeah. And I used to tell him, then you need to be involved. Yeah, exactly. And you see, so yeah, um, yeah. After after Missouri, I got the call. Obviously, I was homesick as well. I got the call to join Weber Winslow, and I've never looked back. Wow. I've never looked back. So, have you ever had an interview in your life? Because it looks like <laughs> people call you for jobs. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't jinx it. <laughs> I'm on the street. <laughs> but um, yeah, well, I have. We call them coffee meetings. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Coffee meetings. I yeah, think it was an interview. Yeah, yeah. But it's more. It's like a discussion. Yeah. You know. I think um, it's very important. You know, to mm. to know whether you're gonna fit with a person. Mm. You can all sell the same product, and mm. you can acquire the things that say you can deliver. Yeah. But um, I do believe in what we do. It's all. Mm. Mm. relates to personality, trust, and mm. you know, and loyalty, and all those things do yeah. factor in a lot. Well, okay, so let's just go back quickly to school. Yeah. Was there a highlight in school? Were you first in class? Were you, <laughs> I mean, if you do that in tertiary, were you also as clever then, or uh, what's the difference? Far from it, actually, <laughs> far from it. I think um, many of my, I think it's also been a shocker to me, mm. more than anybody else, because... I always look for the shortcut. I actually blame myself mm. more than everybody else mm. for it. Mm. I, I do believe in my younger years I did look for shortcuts mm. and I never really, I was quite comfortable in my mm. zone, in my noise zone mm. and was very sporty. Mm. Like I remember even in primary school, like all I did was sport mm. and I was great at it. So because mm. I was great at it, mm. I didn't feel I needed to do anything else mm. and the popularity that came with it as well. So yeah. there was not a lot of investment to my regret. Yeah. I still have the... Yeah. The mark of shame of having twelve, forgetting twelve percent in maths, risk and death. <laughs> you know, hence the lawyer today. <laughs> but, yeah. but I do feel I could yeah. have done better. Yeah. And as well. but at that time, mm. I don't think I had the emotional intelligence mm. to be able mm. to to deal with some of the topics that I had to deal with in high school a mm. lot. Um, and I think also because of that, actually, mm. the turning point in work wake up call was in high school. Because mm. I remember what people don't know about it is that. There's this great story that everybody likes to hear mm. about Sintibale Magara. Mm. But there's also the low point of it, which partly of it, not actually even partly, I can say 100% of it is actually my fault, mm. was I found myself once upon a time in Standard 7 and without derogating or anything like that, I'd failed. Mm. And I got an age exemption. Mm. That's literally what happened. I had, I had failed, and because of my age, that's the reason I'm moving to the next class. Mm. And I'm not sure the new schooling system now, but at that time we still had high grades and mm. standard grades, and you could choose subjects. Great. Some would, some combination will get you exemption. Yeah. Another combination yeah. can't get you an exemption. Yeah. And literally, I was told, well, you can't do these subjects because clearly you don't have the aptitude for it. Wow. And... Um, yeah, I found myself doing history, geography, mm -hmm. um, business economics, and woodwork, like Malema. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And yeah, and, and I always was strong in languages, so English yeah. and Afrikaans are never an issue. But that was mm. basically the turning point. I think more than anything is that what hit, what hit home that day mm. was me sitting to somebody that I fully respect, my oldest brother, you know, mm. that... Um, has always been there. Like even till today, he's still my mentor, he's mm. still my, still my mm. life coach mm. in a lot of decisions that I make and still mm. 
my moral compass with yeah. a lot of decisions that I need to make. And having a teacher come and say to me, and then you yeah. know him, of course, yeah. and as then being from yeah. our alma mater, um, and he basically telling my brother, you know, you can take a Volkswagen to Mercedes, yeah. but um, it will never be a Mercedes, you know. And then head home, like uh, you know, like you know, mm. driving mm. from Forty yeah. Street, yeah, and uh -huh. then back to Begweni was yeah. the longest drive I've ever had to take, and yeah. I had to then no, n nothing was said about it. Yeah, but that for me every time. And I probably many times you'll see it. I always celebrate. I always yeah. celebrate that date. Yeah. And yeah. then when I heard that, mm. and I always, um, sometimes it might come across to people as a negative, mm. but for me, I've never looked at it as a negative. It's something that is my chip on the shoulder that keeps pushing me. Yeah. You know, like where there was a point in time I was told I was not good enough. I don't belong. But having then to trigger, and, it, and then I took small victories from yeah. that. And, uh, yeah. I remember one of the things my brother said to me that no, start st start slow, mm. start start with small victories. Mm. And by the time I was in matric, I was one of the top of my class wow. in my subjects. Like you know, it was one of those things. But now you're stuck with these subjects that you can't do anything. It's not exemption. It's not yeah. whether all of a sudden it's yeah. merita. Yeah. But you're like, okay, fine. Yeah. What why, what else can I do with these subjects? And there's points in time like it used to be such a great joke. Like mm. my subjects were mm. a great joke to sitting with mates and people like, but what are you gonna do with that combination? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know the old story, yeah. you don't have maths and accounting, what you gonna do with your yeah. life? You know, so for me I think um if, if my, my take home from it is that you by actually you know what? Um it's what my mother always says, you know, sometimes allow God to do mm. to do to do his thing. Mm. And mm. then you don't have to question it, you don't have to do it. So I'd like to take credit for a lot of things mm. in my life, mm. but I always say it's been a series of ex accidents and interventions, mm. and as in by people mm. that saw something before I saw it, yeah. and and and, oh. and and when people see that in you, yeah. you have to always, and I think it's also been the challenge to mm. always try and question, mm. am I doing justice to what these people have seen in me? Yeah. Am, I, am I actually there where they are sitting at a point and say, you know what, that's my good story to tell. If that person tomorrow has to account to God or yeah. whatever his religious yeah. connotation is, and they ask him, what have you done with your life? And yeah. they can say, you know what, Sintibadi Makara, I contributed to that life. Wow. And it wasn't something about money. It didn't yeah. need money. It yeah. needed you to tell me, you know, when I was at the tavern. Mm. At that time, there was backstage in the Gwen in the yeah. to me. If you were the person that had come to me and said, actually, you know what, it's a school night. Yeah. You shouldn't be loitering around. You don't belong here. You, you don't belong here. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? I, I don't like this picture for you. I don't like this image that I'm seeing about you. I don't like the direction mm -hmm. and path you're on. Those mm -hmm. people that made those small ad libs mm -hmm. in my life, mm -hmm. that's the culmination and calculation of what you see today. Yeah. And, it's, and it's always trying to reinforce that. Now, as you get older, all of a sudden, and you move high up in your, your chosen yeah. career, all of a sudden now, there's other people that come in as well mm -hmm. that are also trying mm -hmm. to steer you in the right type, the direction and it's we yeah. keep pushing we're getting there yeah and i mean I, if, I, if i listen to what you're saying can you imagine you not having an older brother no huh i mean no. he was like i want to be a cop no you're not going to be a cop i see more potential in you, you you're going to go study <laughs> and like so what is the how was your study life mcqueeny uwc what do you think is that one thing that made you finish your degree? Oh, that's the easiest question I've ever received. <laughs> okay. Yeah, a day in the life of Sintibali as a student. Yo, you wake up in the morning and chase a train. Yeah. <laughs> that's the one thing. Yeah. And these days I know this hashtag Metro fail. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at that time we still had mix it. I'm going to give away my age yeah. now, but yeah. 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 And it was a challenge. I'm no. not going to lie. Like um, the travel, but there was also the train community. Mm -hmm. And I think many of the mm -hmm. people I've met that I've gotten to know in Paul, mm -hmm. and then it was mm -hmm. through, the, through the travels and conversations mm -hmm. I'd have in the train, mm -hmm. same faces you'd have in the morning, the yeah. same faces. We literally would coordinate that. Yeah. And you'd have that one special carriage yeah. where it's always the same people. Yeah, they used to call it your, yeah, yeah. your travel family. Yeah, you yeah. see. So it, it was that. Like um, okay. those rainy days, now and again you're soaking wet, mm -hmm. and it, so it was that. But I think for me that made me want to finish my degree mm -hmm. is the fact that I did believe that genuinely if, if, if I've started this now, I've committed to it, mm -hmm. there's only one way out. Mm -hmm. It's through 
mm-hmm. coming out with a degree certificate. Mm-hmm. But there's this um, area next to the barn, which used to call the barn in UWC. Yeah. Nice the square. Club. Yeah, it's in the square yeah. where you used to pass by the cricket field, and there yeah. was always these oaks yeah. parked in the in in, in the night, beautiful bantams and the golfs, yeah. you know. Yeah. And I used to be like, mm. yeah, one day, you know, <laughs> one day. Not yeah. me. Yeah. But my son. Yeah. Will be one of these oaks. Yeah. Yeah. True. Well, if he studies or not, it's mm. his choice. Mm. But he won't have to use a train. Mm. Mm. And then he won't have to use the train. And I think for me, that's one of the things that I need to finish this. Yeah. I, I definitely need to finish this. Yeah. It was not always smooth sailing. And mm. the thing is, at any time, and many of the people I've interacted with that I look up to, mm. and then there's always that other story. People look at it and think maybe it was just, it just happened. Yeah. It was always smooth sailing. It, it's, it's never been like that. Mm. I've had so many people to inspire me through my life. I remember there's a point in time when I was at my lowest in Paul Boys. And I needed somebody to model mm. my student life at as a pupil in Paul Boys. Mm. And there was a bonga bonga and I was like, you know what, this guy is doing it. And I'm seeing the respect he's getting. Wow. And, like, and what and you know when somebody enters a room and yeah. you hear that gravitas, you know, you you, you felt like, you know, you know, that this person is present. Yeah. And he's earned that. He didn't demand it from you, he didn't ask for it from you, but oh. You, you you felt it as he's coming yeah, in because he's getting um, goosebumps. He's, yeah, uh, that's the kind of mm. kind of people that I always modeled. Mm. Similar to when I went to university. Yeah, and as in I remember a lady Tsupiso Tute, Ndumiso yeah. Chanti, yeah. still at Dreadlocks at the time. He's a great banking and finance lawyer in Faske, in Faske now. Yeah, a Canadian law firm that's based in Johannesburg. Yeah, that has an office in Johannesburg. Like Ndumiso, like when I went to university, first year is my tutor. Wow. The next year is final year. And I look at this guy, him, Solom Zibezana, for example. Mm. And you look at these guys and you're like, wow. Mm. Wow. That's mm. all you could say. Like, you, mm. you model them. They were not doing anything out of the ordinary. Mm. Mm. They were just being great at being students. Yeah. But you looked at it as a first year student and you're like, wow. Actually, mm. you know what? Mm. Let me model this, uh, mm. this guy. Mm. Similarly to when I, when, I, when, I, when I started working. Yeah. Similarly to when I joined with Owenso. Yeah. I looked, I looked at someone and I was like, wow. Follow that path. Remember when I first joined with Owenso? Again, the thing with gravity yeah. is that person that moves you. Yeah. There was a gentleman at the time, he's since left with Owenso and joined another law firm, um, Pinson and Masons, uh, Mr. George Sabanda. Yeah. You know, just talking to the man, he had this voice. Like, you know, it is just the way mm. he made you feel like, you know what, for, for those split second when you had his full undivided attention that you were very important. Wow. You know, he did the mass smart deal at the time and it was, mm. it was the kind of things that you look at it, you know what, this is no longer just about black, white, mm. colored or anything mm. like that or any decrees that mm. we have in our beloved country, but it was actually just looking at brilliant people that you can just model mm-hmm. without you going to the person and saying, you know what, can you be my mentor? Yeah. Can you be this to me? Yeah. But looking at people mm-hmm. in the in the zone and then trying to read up and find out more and more about mm-hmm. them. Like this, literally like another boy somewhere has a Cristiano Ronaldo poster. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For me, I have these people always in my mental poster because those are the people that keep pushing me. That's similar to my brother. Mm-hmm. Similar to our, to my mother and the resilience mm-hmm. and then people I've met, like I've got friends, I've got a circle of friends that I, I've always kept very close. Mm-hmm. That's always been my marital compass, you know, and it's always been comforting. And it's, it's something that I always tell my friends, even in Joburg, like, you know what? I love the fact when I go home mm-hmm. and I'm with my friends, you mm-hmm. understand, Abolo, Yuso, Owen, mm-hmm. understand the guys that I grew, grew up with that to them, I'm just into that, like, you know, yeah. it... I can be, tomorrow I can be president of the country, mm. but to them I'll still have to account for certain things mm. and then I'll uh, still have to yeah. account for my behavior. Mm. When they displeased with any action I do and my imperfections as a human, mm. and then it's one of those things. It's what I always also say to candidate attendees that, we, that, that I work with at work and some of the junior associates as well, is that, you know what, guys, come to my office, let's have a seat. Mm. Tell me what you think, mm. because when you stop having that listening, and for me, I always say it's very important to, for me to learn how to follow, and that's the phase I'm at, because I work with five-year plans even in my career and life, and I'm at that follow phase, mm. Yeah. Mm. and that's mm. been the phase I'm at. 
even if tomorrow they were to tell me, Cindy Bali, you're now going to be a partner at River Winslow. Yeah. Now I need to follow yeah. the partners that have been there, yeah. how to be a partner. Because yeah. I believe I'm still in the follow phase. I'm not in the leadership phase, phase yet. Yeah. Because I do believe, once I've mastered how to follow, that only then you can lead, you know, because then you, it's, 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 it's a path, mm. let's travel. Um, so, you currently at uh, Weber Wentz, how long are you there? Sure, I think I'm about to finish my eighth year, I'm about to be a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, um, think I'm, I think I'm bordering on finishing my eighth year at Weber okay. Wentz. Oh, yeah. oh, but that's, right. I mean, that's sure, um, you, you did articles there? Did articles okay, there, so moved up the ranks. Yeah. I'm, an, I'm a senior associate now. Nice. Touch wood. Yeah. One of these days I'll get the vote to partnership. Nice, man. Name you on see. the door. <laughs> <laughs> Name on well, the wall. <laughs> the good thing about it, the good thing about Weber Wenzel is the fact that Weber and Wenzel are no longer around. Mm. Yes, uh, mm. It's the responsibility of each and every professional yeah. to make sure what they, the legacy they left in the market, yeah. and their reputation and everything yeah. else. We all have that responsibility, and that's what I like about it. I do believe that thing of having a Sintibali Makara Inc. Mm. starts making you think of me and mm. I and whatnot. Mm. It mm. moves away from the collective, collective you know. Yeah. While when you have a collective responsibility, some of the decisions I have to make sometimes, yeah. I have to think of my fellow colleague, colleagues. Yeah. You know? So when you uh, got your award for your mailing guardian, 200 young youngsters in South Africa, what was the first person you called? Mom. Okay. What did you do? I mean, what what was uh, what was mom doing? Did she know you up for the award? Did she know nothing? Uh, no, she didn't know. Okay. And then I had to explain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, yeah. So I had to explain. Yeah, mom, newspaper. It's Mail and Guardian. Mm. My mother knows the panel post. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, know? of course. That's what, that's, what, that's what my mother <laughs> reads. She reads the panel post. Yeah. And the uh, yeah. That's and uh, I think the sari now and again she yeah. had the sari and the ke- what's it? Kair. Kair, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, kair. That those are the uh. old. My mother used to work in a textile double eye at some mm. point in time in Wellington. So those are the publications mm. she's aware of. So mm. I'm like Mail and Guardian. I'm like yeah, but like panel panel yeah, post. Yeah. You know? You're like oh oh panel post. You know panel post. I'm like no, I'm not the panel post. <laughs> but something similar to yeah. panel post just. The rest of the country <laughs> as well. <laughs> I think that's the yeah. place where you're like, oh, okay, so, so okay, I'll, I'll get it tomorrow. Yeah. Like, okay, no, no, it's fine because you're not on Facebook or anything like that. And then after that, I then started mm. putting it on Facebook. Yeah. And obviously, it's actually been interesting. Like, I've been getting calls from old, nice. old mates, like people from nice. varsity, nice. people from high school. Awesome, man. Strangely enough, I mentioned Lollipop, like, uh, my, one of the Facebook posts, like, I got reminded, actually made me... The teachers, yeah. Teacher from Lollipop, yeah. like, my, my pre-primary, like, I was, <laughs> yeah, you know. Studying, studying. Yeah, you see. Um, so, those are the kind of things, that, that that's for me, the take-home for me. It's mm, actually mm. revived a lot of other mm. you know, networks that I, that I had before, mm. that I wasn't aware that I had. Mm. And, uh, okay. You yeah. see, it's actually made me now have a to-do list when yeah. I come to Paul. That I actually need to go see this person. Mm. I need to go visit this nice. specific place, and then just uh, to make it. To, to yeah, make they'll it appreciate it if you just pop in and say hi. You know, yeah, it's uh, very essential. Um, so, what are you doing when you're not working? What is what? <laughs> what's your spare? I mean, okay, you work for a big law firm. I'm not sure there's <laughs> little spare time, but they, what, what are you doing? Are you still playing action soccer, indoor cricket? Well, yeah. Prior to snapping my Achilles, I'm still out. I'm probably going to be back in the soccer field by end of October. All right. But um, what I do in my my free time, I like cooking. Okay, I nice. love hosting friends. That's okay. one thing that I actually do like doing. Okay, nice. I love having like in Joburg, people yeah. don't know a good snook and they yeah. don't know how to prepare a proper snook. Yeah. So that's usually my okay, nice. my, my, my my party trick mm. to say, guys, let's yeah. come. Introduce I bought you. A, I bought a few snooks, <laughs> put some apricot jam in it, some cheese, yeah. do, the, do the works, yeah. and host people like and mm. prepare a meal with mm. friends and share it, and then we chat. You know, yeah. nice low music, yeah. so we can actually understand what's happening in your life, what what you're doing, mm. and mm. sometimes share ideas. Yeah. That's something very important yeah. as well, because I do believe that in those ideas, maybe some point in time, maybe the mm. next big company is going to mm. come through. Mm. So that's what I like doing, okay. Okay. and in my lonesome self. I'll binge watch a series, okay. or right. for some odd reason, or one of these days, I get triggered to play FIFA. Okay, nice. And that can take hours. That can be a <laughs> good twenty-four hour circle <laughs> for getting even to eat yeah, at times yeah. when I when I'm when I when I when I'm when I'm in the zone. Yeah. So those are the things that I like doing. Okay. 
Okay. I'm not the matter. I'm, I'm a terrible traveler, though. I must say, yeah. I'm a terrible traveler. Okay. So, for me, a holiday yeah. is me coming to Paul or Bergesdorf, mm -hmm. being with friends, people I know, mm -hmm. my comfort zones. It's something I want to change. Mm -hmm. I've tried to do the nature thing. I'm still trying mm -hmm. to learn what's the point. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. I do see an elephant. I'm like, okay, I've seen an elephant. It's <laughs> it exactly like the picture. <laughs> it's a, I'm a bit terrible at that. And then, then, yeah, I must say, the girlfriend is not, is not very appreciative. <laughs> Of that part of me, that trait, and I'll probably uh, change it at some point. Um, so tell me, any plans coming back home? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, back home to visit, yes. Okay. Um, I do believe that um, at some point in time, I have a role to play. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I used to joke with the former municipal manager of Drakensen, Dr. Mm. Stima, at some point mm. in time, that one day I want your job. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, you see, so... Yeah. He was the municipal manager at the time, yeah. and I just come back from from the states, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm preparing everything so that I can get your job. I'm gonna get my doctorate, and I'll get your job." Okay, nice. Go. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. It's been and um, actually somebody on Facebook when they saw this Marian Guardian thing yeah. actually reminded me of that. He was like, "You remember actually you telling the doctor that you nice. you that you gonna be municipal yeah. manager one day of truck and say." Um, we still waiting for that. Okay. Like, Let me just ignore this. <laughs> and I, said, I think now for par partner, maybe Enzo should be fine. Yeah. But there's there's full intention at one point mm -hmm. in time to come back oh, to course. come back home. Um, married children? No, not yet. Okay. No children that I've heard of yet. Okay, cool. If there are any somewhere, you would have please, found out for this Please, thing. please do let me know. Yeah. And then I'm partly famous a bit now, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Please do let me know if there's so not such. married yet. Not, not married yet, but uh, fully intending, fully okay, intending, right, yeah, right. fully okay. intending for oh, that to man. happen sooner rather than later. Okay. And you want? Are you going to want your kids to go to the same school as you? Oh. I would wish. Okay. Well, I would wish. Answer? I would wish that they go to okay. Power Boys. Right. Uh, and it's just for me. Yeah. I can't take away what, I, what I've learned, mm. the values I've learned, the, mm. the networks I've created, mm. the, the people I've met, mm. the way of thinking, my yeah. understanding of the country and its dynamics yeah. and its people, yeah. having to deal with yeah. that environment, yeah. what, for me was uh, very, very key. What year did you matriculate? Um, I, was, I matriculated in 2014. Okay, cool. 2014. All right. All right, cool. But, uh, dude... I mean, yeah, such a decent story, awesome story. Um, <laughs> thank you, thank I you. I like the, I like the, I like those stories from humble beginnings, and then. No, I'm still, I'm still, still very humble. Still, still, still humble, but big, 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 big yeah. beginnings, you know. Yeah, one really, day. and I, yeah. I, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I always say you always need everybody needs a mentor, like your older brother. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't imagine this story without his mentoring, and oh. also, of course, your mother's influence yeah. it it's a big difference indeed and those people that just come into your life you know like yeah. for me like i can I, I, I can even think of father gerald god mm. bless his soul yeah. catholic catholic priest yeah you see some point in time i even thought about being a priest just because i was just moved by mm. this person that, yeah. that, that was in front of me yeah. but dude thanks so much for chatting to me no thank uh, you for total invite. congratulations on this i mean yeah. that's a massive award i mean out of 60 million people, 60 million in South Africa, and yeah, almost yeah. 8,000 nominees. <laughs> You're in the top 200. I mean, that's that's pretty good. That's no. that's. I mean, that's. Oh, thank that's you a very much. That's a feeling no, that. Thank, thank you very much. Thank no. you very much. It's the continued support of the people of Paul. Yeah. And yes, as um, as they say in Afrikaans, like um, all the dangos come from the green door. Yeah. Maar is niet zo klein hier. Also, die mensen peril. Yeah. Alle doen baie groot dinge. And battle, yeah. Money battle to it. They say it's a small door, so, but you know, small so thing. it's just that thing. And yeah. at some point in time, we will have to come home. It's actually now, you've, since you've asked me that question, I'm like, do you actually intend coming home? Like, yeah, never been asked that directly. Yeah, I'm a bit moved by it, so yeah. I'm, I'm actually starting to think, actually, that's why. Actually, I do want to come home. Yeah. Yeah. I actually do. I oh. need to just find the role. What's the role that I'll be coming in? At? I think the role is your kids must go to school, yeah, that's the role. <laughs> Dude, good trick. Thanks so Thanks much, man. It was really, really good. Thank you very much. <laughs>